Hello everybody and welcome on my journey to watch 500 films in one year. The 394th film I watched was The Other Side of the Door, about a woman who loses her son in a tragic accident, but learns of a ritual which will bring him back one last time to say goodbye. When she disobeys a sacred warning, she upsets the balance between life and death and risks the safety of her surviving family members. I think this review is going to be a relatively short one, as I don't have a great deal to say about this film. It was an agreeable horror that reminded me a fair bit of Pet Cemetery, and, funnily enough, Mary Lambert, director of Pet Cemetery, appears in a photo which gets thrown into the bin during the movie. The acting is good, and the effects aren't too bad either. The interior set design is also well done, and apparently the house shown in the external shots was where Rudyard Kipling was born. There were a number of references to Jungle Book within the movie, which was a nice tribute to the author. The Other Side of the Door isn't anything particularly special, but I found it to be a decent horror movie, and will therefore give it a thumbs up. Please join me for my next review, where I'll be talking about Don't Breathe, co-written and directed by Fede Alvarez. Thanks for taking the time to listen, and I hope to hear from you soon.